Uh, you know, it's it's funny, Darius. We always talk. I love Tom Brady, and one of the things I love about him, he plays with a chip on his shoulder because he dropped in the draft. And you ended up at South Carolina State, and, you know, a lot of the big boys overlook you. Are you driven a little bit by that little chip on the shoulder like, I want to prove you guys, Alabama, LSU, all you teams that didn't draft me. Is that part of you? Oh, yeah, without a doubt, man. I, every, every time, man, I go out there and have a chip on my shoulder, just want to just prove all my daughters wrong and just want to just go out there and compete each play. Did you know immediately, did you know in college you'd be this good of an NFL player? When did you figure it out? Was it camp that you're like, I can play here? I don't remember probably it was the second week after the Washington Redskins games. I think I had like maybe 18 tackles that game, and that's when I was like, okay, maybe I have a shot of being pretty good in this league. So I just kept working on my craft and um, just got better each week. I'm watching your college video. Lord, you're just throwing guys around. <laughs> you're throwing guys around the field. <laughs> When um, you did not play against the Patriots, you had an ankle injury that week. But you were, I imagine, in the preparation for it, in the meeting rooms. So even though you didn't play, take me back to that week. What do you remember when you watched the Patriots on film? What were you preparing for? Um, just, um, we, we always talk about stopping the run first. So we wanted to uh, stop. They had two great running backs there. And we wanted to kind of... Um, stop the run and make uh, Tom Brady beat us with his arm. And, you know, that that's, that's very hard to stop Tom Brady with Gronk, Elderman. So we knew that we would have to um, try to make him dump it off, try to take away the deep shots and make him just dump a little short pass and just rally up and tackle from there. You know, Kansas City uh, gave you guys a rough week in the playoffs. And then the following week, New England goes there and beats them. Were you surprised, having played Kansas City and know how good they were, were you surprised how New England beat them? Oh, man, I was, I was very surprised, man. I just I just knew Kansas City had a lot of firepower, and I, I didn't think their offense could be stopped. Um, so I, I actually thought Kansas City was going to come out and get the win. And watching the game, I saw that New England had a great game plan, and they came out with the victory. Andrew Luck has been one of my favorite players in the NFL since he came out of Stanford. And it's, you know, then he, he was very good, and then he got hurt. And I love him so much that my audience is always telling me how overrated he is. And I'm always like, no, 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 no. He hasn't had a lot of help until this year. Tell my audience, take my audience into, you face Andrew Luck a lot at practice. What makes him special? Um, his knowledge of the game, man. He, he's so smart. Uh, he's called out every blitz. He... He every even in walkthrough, he looks at every receiver in a walkthrough to make sure they're running their routes, and he's got make sure everybody on the scout team knowing exactly what they're, the opposing team's doing. Like he's so smart in every critical situation, he knows exactly where he's going, he knows exactly who's getting the ball. So I mean, he's he's just so smart and very knowledgeable about the game. You led the NFL in total tackles. Um, just shy of an all-time record by Patrick Willis, who played for the Niners, went to Ole Miss, great player. Um, did you surprise even you a little bit? I mean, the, your your production is outrageous. Were you even a little surprised? Yeah, I, I, most definitely. Um, I, I'm most definitely surprised having, I mean, leading the league in tackles. I, I didn't think that would come my rookie season. I thought I would have to work maybe, maybe my second or third year to it, and just happened so I'm leading the league and it's just a great accomplishment and just just very shocked by the way take Andrew Luck out I could make an argument um, that you and another rookie Quentin Nelson are the best rookie tandem you're both pro bowlers you're you're arguably in the history of the NFL we've never had a team that brings in maybe the best offensive lineman and maybe the best linebacker in this you know in the same class what is Quentin Nelson like to go up against? Because I see him pancake guys on video. What does he like to face? Man, he's a he's a complete monster, man. He's huge, um, and he's very powerful. So I mean, if he put his claws on you, you know you're you know you're completely <laughs> done from there. So you just gotta be smart the way you go at him and try to use your speed against him. Because like I said, if he get his hands on you, it's over with. By the way, I think you guys have nine draft picks and $100 million uh, in cap space. I believe starting next year, uh, you've got a couple small deficiencies. I think the dynasty is going to start. I really do. I think you're going to have an amazing 10-year run. 
Um, I don't know if you'd been to Indiana, Indianapolis before uh, you became a Colt. Can you see yourself playing there for a decade? Yeah, without a doubt, man. It's a great place to be, man. Um, love, love the fans there. Love the coach. Love, love the organization. And I, I can see that making my home for uh, the next 10 to 15 years. <laughs> Darius, congrats. You're a remarkable talent. One of the shocks all time in the draft. And good luck to you going forward. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, he, that kid is just, I mean, it was like, I can remember, because I kind of like the Colts, because luck, and I know they're GM, and I'm watching, like, their second game, and I'm texting people, and I'm like, who is Darius Leonard? You kind of like the Colts? I mean, I, I knew Quentin Nelson was good, and I knew T.Y. Hilton was good, and I Malik Hooker was good, and I'm watching the game, and I'm like, this kid's like, he's going to make 17 tackles. He's all over the field. His college video is ridiculous. Remember Randy Moss's college video? He's just jumping, hopping over guys. <laughs> yeah. Darius Leonard is something special. A Shannon Sharp's around the corner and my 10 best players in the football uh, NFL Super Bowl this year between the Patriots and Rams. I think my top 10 is much different than everybody else. All right, winner's here. We're living through it, especially if you're in Chicago, Detroit, Minneapolis. Brutal cold. But after that is spring. And uh, listen, spring to me, where I grew up in the Pacific Northwest, I've lived in Florida. You get rain in the spring. I've lived in Connecticut. I've lived in the Northwest. We've had a ton of rain in early January in Los Angeles. So you got rain coming and snow and hail. It's time for Michelin Premium Wiper Blades. Safe and sound. Smart Flex technology allows them to adapt to the curve of your windshield, okay? And if you see signs of wear and tear, which is like streaking or smearing or even squeaking, that means you need new wiper blades. Don't waste time. You want better visibility, you want to see more clearly, therefore you want to drive more safely. Michelin Premium Wiper Blades. Get them at Walmart, Pet Boys, uh, Amazon, other fine retailers with exclusive smart Flex technology, Michelin wipers.